it's obviously important that we're teaching to the whole child, but SEL looks different in different cultures, right? So can you give us an example of how you have to adapt your SEL practices to be culturally responsive? Sure. I think, you know, one of, the, one of the barriers for us at Outward Bound, quite honestly, is the fact that our staff don't necessarily represent the communities that we're serving. We serve a pretty diverse uh, group of students, and our staff is primarily white at this point. And so um, we are constantly asking ourselves, how do we help and support these particular young people? And that, um, that has kind of forced a philosophy in our organization to always be asking ourselves, and that is, how do we figure out and start with the student's starting point? What is their starting point? And that begins to help us shape the entire kind of curriculum offering and the ways in which we support the staff. Um, before we get to the program design, though, we to uh, address some of the kind of cultural differences, first we have to learn about them. And so we, we take several steps with our um, partner organizations and, and, um, and people that support these young people. So we have several pre-program meetings with our partners. Uh, sometimes we'll go into the school or to the nonprofit and observe the students or the young people that we're going to be serving so we can really begin to understand some of the challenges that they're facing, how they relate to one another, those kinds of things. Um, we also incorporate an adult from that organization uh, or school into all of our experiences, um, ideally as a third instructor with us. Some people call them chaperones, but we really look at them as a key component because they already have a positive relationship with that youth and they understand um, where that youth may have started from before they even have interacted with, with our organization. We. Um, also have brought um, representatives from organizations, like for example, we work with a Native American school in Minneapolis. Um, we've brought in one of their um, school supervisors to do an in-service with our staff to help us better understand the culture uh, of the Native American youth, specifically here in Minneapolis and some of the challenges that they face. So we're doing as much learning as we can about the populations that we're serving. And it's at that point, once we've done um, all of that assessment and conversations and learning, that we can begin to kind of build a program design and, and build in maybe pieces of different language uh, that might relate better to the population that we're serving, or maybe we have to build in different kinds of ways in which we build rapport with the students. Mm -hmm. but. Quite honestly, for all of the groups that we're serving, we're continually adjusting and tweaking based on uh, the needs of that particular group. Mm 